guys welcome to chinity's 100 in this video i will be sharing with you a design i decided to make inspired on my ipsy glam bag for the month of september which the theme was as you can see street style in the picture that you see here so if you want to see how i achieved this design please stay with me and let's get started so i used a silver polish i got a few months ago um, it's a silver light silver polish any silver polish you have will do I don't share with you the name because this polish doesn't even have the name on it so I don't even know but it's just as a base coat just to achieve the color I wanted um, I did one coat of that and all of the nails and once I let that dry thoroughly I went ahead and did the other coat of uh, the final darker polish that I wanted and by doing this I had, it had actually achieved the the most similar looking color to my glam bag which is like a gunmetal color and by doing a combination of both of these nail polishes is how I could best achieve the, the color so I did this light silver color and then I went ahead after like I said after it dried went ahead and did the other color on top of it which you can see right here and it's by kiss gradation polishes and it's the number the step number two it doesn't have a it came in a set of three it came the lighter this uh, second one and then the other was like a glitter chunky glitter but I'm just using the first two so this other like gun darker grayish gunmetal color just one coat of that on top of it and that's how I achieved that color to match my ipsy glam bag for the month of September I did one coat of that over each nail make sure to cap or go over the free edge of the nail because that way we um, minimize chipping we all know that if we don't put polish on the free edge which is the very edge of the nail right there um, it would start chipping even faster so I do this with the polish but also when I'm finally done and I do the clear coat I also do that and now for design for some of my accent nails I will be using this Conad stamping plate and the stamper and that's the design I will be using just like a little low cross patch kind of design I'm gonna use this generic scraper I'll use it like I said it's not not that the Conad one because the Conad one has like a metal plate the metal scraper this one has just the plastic and I like it because it doesn't scratch my plate and I'm using this black polish any black thick polish will work perfect I, this is not a Conad polish it's much affordable and I love it a lot but any thick black polish will work just fine so just dab it in right there and you don't have to cover the whole image you will just put it on one side scrape it if you get little streaks like that just scrape it again and it would be just fine go ahead and roll your stamper on it and then I have the image all over on my rubber stamping tool right there if you can see it and then I'm just gonna get out of frame I'm sorry I tried and then just kind of roll it rock it onto my nail and that's it I tried my best to stay during the whole video in frame but that seems to be impossible for me as you can see I get some of the image on my fingernail but that's fine I lightly just remove that with my little tool here I'm not scraping or anything it's really peels off it's like a sticker it peels off that's why I love this um, this nail polish even more than the actual polishes that are meant for stamping or like the Conan stamping polishes I love this one even better it just literally peels off and it works great on the nail and it just stamps beautifully the image just oh, I can't say mm nothing but beautiful things about it so you can see how easily it removes from the skin yet it transfers wonderfully onto the nail so just do that make sure I remove whatever and you don't even have to do that you can do that after you're done with your nail after you've put their top coat but I like to do that before now I'm just putting some acetone on my my um, 
cloth right there and cleaning my tools and always clean them between each stamp also I didn't show you that but you also have to clean between stamping and now I'm just gonna get a little bit of these little rhinestones that just black ones black little studs and with some nail glue I will be adhering three little black stones in my middle finger which is what I chose to I did two accents I did stamping on my ring finger and on my pointer finger and then on my middle finger on each hand I also did the little studs and that's what I chose as my my accent fingers and then the pinky and the thumb just stayed in plain normal polish but yeah this basically is the basic design just kind of inspired on the ipsy glam bag because that glam bag had the little uh, metal studs across the top of the bag and I just kind of like the color the gunmetal color and I saw it and I remembered I had these polishes and I said hey why not and so I just went ahead after it dried completely I covered it in, with my clear top coat right now I'm using the INM out the door and just like I said make sure to cover the free edge cap the free edge to minimize any chipping and then it's very important when you're doing the nail I left the ones with the stamping for last make sure that is completely dry before putting the clear coat and try to only go over the stamping part once and make sure you have enough polish so that you don't smear off the the stamping art so basically this is it very simple design and I think that it goes well with the time which is fall I hope you guys like it very simple very versatile you can change up the colors but I decided to do this to match my little ipsy glam bag for the month of September thanks for watching guys hope you liked it thumbs up if you did and it would make me super duper happy if you subscribe hit that subscribe button and hope to see you in the next video thanks for watching guys bye